I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about alternating series. In problem number 45, we'd like to determine whether the following series converges absolutely, converges conditionally, or diverges. And here's my series that I'd like to look at. We've got the sum k going from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k divided by k to the two-thirds power. All right, so the first question I could ask is, well, does this thing converge absolutely? And what I mean by converge absolutely is, what if all of the negative signs were gone, but I was still summing it up? Would it sum to something? And if it would, then it converges absolutely. So instead of looking at this guy, what we do is we consider this other sum, sum k going from 1 to infinity, of 1 over k to the 2 thirds. Now, why 1? Because I just took out all the negative signs and made them all positive. In other words, this negative 1 to the k, just ignore it for a second. And what if I had this guy? Well, this is a p series, and p is less than 1. So this diverges, okay, this guy diverges. Okay, so it doesn't converge absolutely because if I make all these things positive and ignore the negatives, it diverges. So it does not converge absolutely. Now that I know that it doesn't converge absolutely, the next question I would ask is, okay, so does it converge conditionally? In other words, if it has the negatives, does it converge? And then I can use the uh, alternating series test. So uh, now I'd like to look at the limit as k goes to infinity of 1 over k to the 2 thirds. Well, this is fairly clearly 0. And so what this tells me is that when I have the negatives in, the alternating series test tells me, yes, it does converge. So it doesn't converge absolutely when I make everything positive, but if I have the negatives in, it does converge. And that's what it's called to converge conditionally. Okay? So uh, I can say that the sum k going from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k divided by k to the 2 thirds converges conditionally. 